So some of our challenges that we had when we were thinking about um, doing a virtual event versus an in-person gala that we have done for the last 10 years is that we didn't necessarily have the expertise to do it. I am um, an event planner by profession and by nature. And so for, for me, it's about you know throw, putting up a tent or selecting tablecloths. So one of the first things I realized that we needed to do was to select a, a, a creative team, which includes a filmmaker, a writer, and a musical director because we were planning to bring in these performers um, to correlate with our art. Um, the second thing I would probably recommend in terms of when you're starting to get this going is think about what you want to get out of this. What is the message you want to get across to your audience? And so when you start with that, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a thread that helps you throughout the logistical planning of this event. Um, and luckily I was able to bring in my logistical planning expertise to that, uh, um, that part of the project. And lastly, you know, Working with your community is really important. We were able to work with our board members to understand what they wanted to bring out um, in this messaging for this virtual event that, you know, about supporting Renolda, but also that we've made it through a, pan a year's worth of a pandemic together. And the assets of the arts and the community bring bringing together has really, you know, helped us um, survive this and there's a lot of love and appreciation there which is really what we wanted to get across and then going forward with that you know really utilizing your partnerships um, for us it was partnering with UNCSA their performers and their alumni to bring in these um, you know Broadway performers to come and sing at our museum and it was able to help two struggling industries and this was such a wonderful way to bring it together in a way that was also very rewarding. I think everyone should buy a ticket for this year's Celebrate Renolda because if the past year has taught us anything, it's that no invitation should be taken for granted. We don't know what will happen in the coming years and we don't know what form this fundraiser will take, but we know that in this moment, we have the opportunity to enjoy some fabulous performers, some exciting art, and all while we're supporting Renolda and sharing art and nature with our entire community.